I don't normally talk about football in Australia, but this is as related to football in Australia can be, even though it's not directly related to football, but more so the supporter side or the uh, the fan side of things in this country. Now, football in Australia is not the biggest sport that is watched. It is the highest that is attended and played, if I'm not mistaken. I think million, one point something million people play football, soccer in Australia, but not many people go to watch it, which is why it baffles me why people will want to see less and less people in the crowds when it comes to general support, but even more so active support when the active supporters are trying to create an atmosphere, they do their drumming, they do their chanting, they do their choreography, they do their tifos, they do all sorts of things to make the game day experience enjoyable for everybody, for home fans and away fans as well. Now the team I follow, Western Sydney Wanderers, who are the only club as it stands in Australia to have won the Asian Champions League in 2014. I was there. Fantastic moment. Playing my drum as I used to in active support. I stopped it a few years ago. But since 2013 till about 2021, 2022, I was a, an active drummer in the RBB among another 10 or so people. Good times. Fun, fun times. But nowadays, I take a step back. I still go down there, say hi to everybody, but I stand to the sides now, not so much get involved in the um, middle because I just want to watch the game nowadays. Anyways, enough waffling on my little backstory there. On the weekend, we had the Sydney Derby between Western Sydney Wanderers at our home stadium, Combank in Parramatta, against the cross-city rival Sydney FC, also known as East Sydney FC, because we're Western Sydney, they're Eastern Sydney. We lost the game 4-1, but that's beside the point. We've beaten them a few times recently, so... In any case, it doesn't really matter. But what does matter is how we're treated as fans when we go to our own home stadium and we're met with Riot Squad officers as you're looking in the pictures now. So Riot Squad officers lined up two flanks on either end, stopping our guys from getting through, going to our base. Because that is what happened. And after that, things got a little bit zesty kicked off and we had 20 30 people dragged thrown out tossed to the ground wrestled whatever you want to call it by the right squad cops for whatever reason i have no idea why they're there even to begin with any other day we we're playing at home it doesn't matter who it is and look this isn't to say we don't want cops or need cops in stadiums you always need cops and security but that's why you have stadium security you have your uh, supporter liaison officers as well, like security that reflect uh, or rather that relate information from the supporter groups to the security or to the cops, which is meant the cops are not meant to be involved at all. It's meant to be the security and the supporter marshals involved in, in the communication process. But for whatever reason, riot squad cops and normal, you know, you know, sky blue officers, they're always going to just kick off and do whatever they want because they're cops, of course, and who the hell cares? What You're not going to stop me because I'm a police officer. And it's evident here as well because one report purportedly states that one of the supporter marshals mentioned that they went, when they went to try and resolve an incident, they were told by police that they'd be arrested if they got involved. So go figure. Well, what happened? Why do we have all these riot squad cops here? As I said, Sydney Derby, high-risk game, but we're all home supporters in that section. There are no rival fans there. Rival fans cannot walk around the stadium or get in. So I don't know why there's that many cops there for our own protection when we don't need it and definitely not there for our own protection. They were there because they wanted to antagonize and be pricks because it's not the first time they've done this. As I said, been in the active group for over 10 years. I've seen incidents. I've been involved in incidents even when carrying a drum just caught in shit for whatever reason because cops want to be cops and they want to be absolute fuckwits, which in this case... They are. That's not to say all cops, but these ones specifically, mega major fuckwits. So what happened? Well, before we get to that little graphic there, the RBB, the Red and Black Block, being the name of the active supporter group, the RBB, have left due to 20 members being arrested by police, all because they tried to get back in the bay after holding the banner in other bays. Policing football games is shambles. What tops it up is that the league will back the police, which is criminal. Rudin was right. Mark Rudin being the manager, the coach of, of uh, Sydney, <laughs> formerly Sydney FC player, of Western Sydney Wanderers, who has actually been vocal against the league over the last couple of weeks. 
So this here video on YouTube from user Z has the RBB TIFO at the Sydney Derby on display. And this is what it was. 220 meters across all sections. One side, the active area on the back, and then on the other side as well with the coaching staff are. So there you have it all the way across, streamers being thrown and everything in between. So that was the TIFO that they were bringing back. And there it is on the other side as well, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe on one side or the other. I thought it went all the way across. Maybe just one side. There you have it. There is the TIFO in question. There you have it. That's what that was. So that was the, the TIFO that they wanted to take back into the bays. And apparently when they were met in the bays, they were told they were not allowed to go in there. So that is what happened. Now, many an incident happened. There is, uh, they, RBB released a statement. The club has since released a statement where they've said here, that they clear the TIFO banner was approved prior to the match by all relevant stakeholders, being the venue, the club, the stadium, security, or police, all that sort of shit. It says here, we're urgently seeking a meeting with senior representatives from New South Wales Police and Venues New South Wales to discuss the issues. Consideration with recent incidents around the country, the Wanderers are calling for an all-of-game response to current processes and safety procedures. Because, of course, I don't know why you need that many police officers there, let alone riot squad cops. But in any case, we go on. So there is video footage of what happened. But before we get to that, this is <laughs> something that baffles me. One of the many ban notices given to minors returning to their seats after helping with the TIFO, this minor was tackled to the ground after a scuffle broke out next to him. Police refused to acknowledge him as a minor and added three years to his date of birth on the ban notice. So as you can see, their date of birth says 1st of the 3rd, 2006, 12-month period. Removed in accordance regulations, failing to leave combat when directed to, or, so both. So it's either or. So they've ticked both of them. Well, which one is it? It, it says or. It's not and, or, it's or. So one or the other. And they tick both of them. So already fucked that one up. But it says offensive behavior, antisocial behavior. Please explain. No mention of what that was. But as I said, 1st of the 3rd, 2006 is the date of birth here that they've listed after they've crossed out every all the personal information. But on their watercraft driving license, date of birth, 1st of the 3rd, 2009. So they've removed his date of birth year, in which case they've made him 18 rather than 15. So they've falsified information to ban a minor who apparently was in a, uh, maybe not this one specifically, but shout out to the boys here from Red and Black TV, the RBB, uh, as you would put it, being the fan channel for the uh, the RBB, Western Sydney Wanderers, who mentioned that apparently there were some minors there and they were taken to an interrogation room with no adult present, no legal guardian present, and were basically questioned and a whole bunch of shit and uh, followed, which I don't think it's actually uh, not legal, definitely unethical to have a person under the age of 18 there under police um, uh, interrogation, shall we say. So that's one instant incident there. And also mentioned about the, uh, the supporter marshal being told to move on or be arrested. But this here, this is the most damning bit. So... Until such time that all unfairly issued ban notices from the weekend's game are overturned and a meeting is arranged between ourselves and stakeholders, specifically NSW police, venues NSW and security contractors, we will be absent from game starting with this week's home game. So this is what happened. I'll turn the volume down. You can just watch for yourselves. Let me just open up here. Check this out. Absolute mad. Look at this. Guys are trying to say stop, relax. Cops are just all over the place, throwing people around, being grabbed. Look at this chokehold taken down. Another, what, three, four cops on one person and the other person getting involved. Security staff just standing around. You can hear the drums in the background slightly. I'm allowed to film whatever I like. I'm going to film I want it. Okay, then. Not a problem. Cops, mate. Love them. Worried that they're doing something they shouldn't. I'm not, mate, I'm not on social media. Since when the fuck does a cop tell someone that it doesn't need to be posted anywhere? Well, maybe, well, clearly it's been posted so people can see what's happening. But obviously the cop is telling him not to record or insinuating not to record because, hey, why are we recording all this dodgy shit we're doing here just because we're cops? Media, this is for their protection, huh? Correct, correct. 
Another man taken to the ground. Um, yeah, this is a whole bunch of shit. Look at this. Standard Aussie language, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Absolute madness. They wanted to leave and then they blocked their, their path. Look at this. He shoved into the barrier. For what reason? Pushed an old man. More tackles, more you know, to the ground. Like, fuck me, man. Like, absolute not. I forgot to mention this. Full disclosure, I walked in about two, three minutes once the match started, maybe five minutes, give or take, and I saw this happen as I'm walking in. I'm literally standing to the side. I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Do I record? Do I watch? I saw other people recording. I'm like, cool, they're recording. I'll let, let them do it. I saw people thrown out, grabbed, shirts pulled, all sorts of shit. People that have never, ever, ever been involved with security, with police, with any sort of um, authority figure in a negative way. The, the people that I saw getting thrown out, I have never ever seen them get pulled up for anything. They've always been cooperative. They've always they're the ones that are liaising with the police, with the security staff, with the stadium staff, with the venues and the club. Why would these people put themselves in jeopardy? For what? fucking reason it makes no sense but this next clip here this is the, the worst thing of all now keep your eyes out on this right side here please did you see that 14 year old kid did you see let me just show you this one more time look at what this cop did throws him and almost if not lightly gets his head on that steel beam and then drops him to the ground. 14-year-old kid. Look at the cops treating a 14-year-old kid who's just trying to get out of the way. Look at him. More people getting dragged out. That's what happens. Welcome to the A-League, shall we say. No reason for the cops to be here doing whatever the fuck they did. They did not need to be here doing their bullshit. Absolute nonsense. So here we go. It's from on YouTube. Let's have a look. Let's see what is here. Of course, recording. Oh, there's a little bit more. Okay, so there's a little bit more left at the end of it. Ah, there's nothing else to it. That's pretty much it, really. But there it is. So there you have it. And uh, I love this. i uh, start here. NSW Police Mission Statement and Aims. The Police Act of 1990 states the mission of the NSW Police is to work with the community and reduce violence, crime, and fear when they are doing everything. But there you have it. That is... What happened? That is the football. That is what we deal with in this country. And this isn't just a Western Sydney thing or an RBB thing. This is something that every football fan in Australia needs to be looking out for. It's already happened to Melbourne Victory some years ago. The Victory fans stopped being active supporters for many a year because of their bullshit with the Vic Pole. Victorian police just being absolute pricks. The Den, the Brisbane Rule supporters, also had their own issues with the cops. MacArthur, the MacArthur FC fans, the uh, the, uh, the the bullpen, I think they're called the bullpen, they also had issues with the cops as well. Newcastle Jets fans have had it. Everyone's copped it. It's just happening again and again and again. For what reason? Who the hell knows? But I'll link this video in the description down below from the timestamp of when the conversation starts as to what happened according to the accounts of people that were there and eyewitness accounts. We're still waiting to hear what the police said as far as I know, but that's where I'm going to leave this video. Hopefully this has been informative in some way. And look, cops at stadiums, sure. But the amount of cops we saw at the derby, do we really want to see this every week at football stadiums? This is not... South America, this is not Eastern Europe, this is not, you know, the Eternal Derby, this is not Galatasaray versus Besiktas, this is not Zvezda versus Partizan, this is not Boca Juniors versus River Plate. I don't know why we need to have right squad cops in our own home section. End the stream, Dave! End the stream! End it, blood! End it now!